Good morning, fellow gardeners. This is Paul, and today I'm gonna remove this seedling tip graft. And actually, this is the plant that kind of led me to changing my growing media. I'll show you why in just a second. Now, first, this is one-year-old seedling tip graft, and it's Paul's Laverne Pink crossed with the pollinator was Trisha. You can see it's got some Trisha traits. I'm really excited to see what this flower and fruit produces in time. Be careful. Now, it's several feet long least six feet but you can see here where I changed the potting soil and what happened I noticed to start from the bottom up is that I got this bacteria infection in both of my scion or the graft I should say and the rootstock so you can see where I grafted it but it actually started down here and so I noticed that I was when I was watering it during the summer, I was starting to see some spots and it spread all the way up. And I'm not sure what type of bacterial infection this is, but you don't want this. This is bad news, in my opinion. And so I noticed using compost forest products in my growing media, this happened to several varieties. And I thought it was gonna stop here, but then it ended up going in to my seedling tip graft. So I really wanna save this seedling tip graft. So I'm gonna show you I'm gonna turn this into a flesh stem cut and hopefully prevent any of this from affecting this in the future. All right, let's get to work. Okay, so make sure you sterilize your tools. I used rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna cut above this bacteria right here. So I'm gonna get rid of that whole rootstock. And I'm just gonna keep this. Now in this case, I think I'm gonna prune this back a bit or cut it back, I should say, and do kind of a flesh to stem cut being careful not to cut myself there. So just something like this should be fine. And then I'm gonna use hydrogen peroxide to treat the wound. That will accelerate the callusing effect and it should prevent any of that bacteria from penetrating into my beautiful seedling graft. Can't believe how big this thing got in just about a little over a year. So that's it. I'm just gonna leave this in a protected part, probably in the garage this time of year because it's cold. And just let it be until this really calluses over. Probably about a week, two weeks. And then I'm gonna get this to root. So there you go. Now I have a beautiful, healthy cutting that was just a little seedling tip one year ago. Really excited to see how this goes and I'm really happy that it didn't get more of that bacteria infection that it stopped. So remember, stay away from any organic composted material inside your pots. Otherwise, it may lead to trouble. We definitely don't want that. I'm gonna throw this away and say goodbye. All right, give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks so much for your time. Have yourself a wonderful day and good luck dragon fruiting. Take care.